Duplicates are something best practices organizations guard against all the time. It could be a duplicate vendor in the master vendor file, a duplicate payment, God forbid, or a myriad of other things. In this session, I'm going to walk you through a really easy way to find those duplicates, and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step as I dedupe an actual file. Stick around until the end when I share some novel ways that you can run a more efficient AP department with two more examples. Welcome to Accounts Payable Soundbites, the programs where we share simple and complex accounts payable issues in short, concise soundbites. So let me pull up the Excel file. I'm going to make it bigger now, if, if, if you will. And we're going to use the feature called conditional formatting. Okay. And so we've got it up here. Now, I've got it set up with a special symbol. So if you look at my file, I don't know if you can see this, but it's really tiny. But right up here, you can see I have my deduping symbol. But I'm showing you the ribbon because I want you to be able to see the whole thing. So in this example, we are going to pretend that this is master vendor file. It's really just information that I made up and threw up here. Okay. So master vendor file, and we're looking for duplicate vendors. So when we do that, there are a number of fields that we could focus on, but I've picked email address because I think that is the one that's most likely to be unique and not give you false addresses. You could pick company name, which would probably be a very good one, except the names don't always get into the same, etc. Okay, so you'll pick whatever you want in this example. So we're going to go over to the column. We're going to highlight the column that we want to get the duplicates. And I like to also highlight all the data. Now you could just have it search on the whole spreadsheet, but then it would compare every single field to every other single field. And you get a lot of duplicates, the duplicate first names, you'd get zip codes, etc. So we're not going to do that. So we've got our field, we've picked the one field, or it could be two, for example, if you wanted, but I like one. And then we go to highlight cell rules, and then we go down to duplicate values. And then here it says, it's going to identify duplicates with light red fill and red text. You can change it if you want, but we're going to stick with that for now. Okay. And we hit okay. And you can see as we go up, it's identifying a few duplicates. Now the duplicates are throughout file. So, you know, you can go through manually and check, but an easier way to do that is now to take the whole file and do a data sort. You want to go to data and you want to sort the data. And in this case, what you want to do is you want to sort it on the email column, and then you want to sort it with those with no text, either on top or bottom, whichever you want. Then sort in alphabetical order, and you can look and see which ones are true duplicates, okay? Because you don't want to automatically take something out. You can see which are true duplicates. You might need to combine the files, but this will give you a good first step, if you will, on how you can identify your duplicates. Okay. Now I want to take this example one step further and I want to look for duplicate payments. But before we do that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. It's completely private. You can unsubscribe at any time. And by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified when we post new accounts payable content, which we do two or three times a week. And by the way, you don't need a YouTube account to subscribe. You can also subscribe if you have a Gmail account. So let's take a look here and you'll see that I have included a payment field. Now, Let's go back a minute because we don't want to confuse things and let's just undo. So I'm just going to hit the undo button, my previous tasks. So we get rid of that red and it doesn't hurt anything. So now we're going to look in the payment field. And again, we're going to highlight the whole thing of our payments. You see, I only have 200 things in here. And again, we're going to go to home. We're going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, and in red. Okay. And you can see we're getting numerous ones here. Now, when this happens, you need to sort this again into, and I like to do it in numerical value so that the duplicates end up next to each other. And then you need to look closely at the potential duplicates because it may be a real duplicate payment 
or as probably some of you are painfully aware, it may be a legitimate payment. It may be a payment to a different vendor. There's a lot of things that it could be legitimately. So you're going to have to do your investigations. Okay. It could be a, you know, a recurring payment that's the same every month. Okay. So you can see there's a lot of possibilities, but this gives you a good first step on what you can do. So I promised at the beginning, I was going to tell you how else you can use this. You probably, if you listen to any of my webinars and you hear me talking about fraud, you hear me talking about running the addresses in the master vendor file against the addresses in the HR file and then researching duplicates. And I always tell you, it's real easy. Well, this is how you do it. You dump the two files into the same Excel spreadsheet, and then you do a search. You can do the search on address. You can do the search on, if your HR department will let you, on TIN, SACT payer identification number, on bank account number. Your HR department may or may not let you do one of those last two. But anyway, another way that you can use this is if you're looking for vendors in the same industry to see if perhaps you can get more early payment discounts or perhaps to see if they might be a good target to try and get them to accept electronic payments. When you're looking for vendors in the same industry, you can try searching on the SIC code. If you have that, it's not perfect, but it's a good start. Do you have any other suggestions on how this could be used in AP? If so, if you drop it in the comment field, then your peers will be able to try it also. You can probably use this skill when working with other departments. That's happening a lot these days. In episode 100, I was joined by the APA's Jamie Radford to discuss the different ways a strategic accounts payable function can work with other groups. A link will appear to the left for that. And please remember, we always do appreciate those thumbs up, those shares, and those subscribes. Thanks.